Hey guys, so I usually don't get caught up in fads and shit when it comes to my hair. But for a while now, I have been wanting to try cleaning my hair with Ben Tonight Clay. I've heard a lot of amazing things about it, and I'm even trying it out as a face mask. I'll definitely inform you about that. Perhaps it's a post to my blog, or as a video, I don't know, but look out for that. What I currently use to clean my hair is an all natural hair shampoo that is 100% organic, and I've absolutely no problem with it. But I'm not in love with it either. I recently found some organic bentonite clay at a local organic goods store and I just had to buy it. I wanted to try bentonite clay to see if I could get an even better experience when cleaning my hair. So let's go! Like most naturals, I wash my hair in twists. But for me, I have to do this because horsey hair has an intense amount of shrinkage and it is much easier to work with my hair in twists. This clay is super economical because I only needed a little bit and it is hella cheap. I mixed a few tablespoons of clay to an equal number of tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and an equal number of tablespoons of aloe vera juice. Oh, and don't forget to add oils which will add moisture to the mixture. Mix, mix, mix! I mix the clay to be a thick consistency because I didn't want it to be drippy and messy all over the place. So make sure to mix it out nice and smooth and thick. Awesome! Now to use the mud. I wanted to test the true powers of the mud on my hair to see if it's truly moisturizing and good for detangling. So when I detangled my hair, I didn't use any product and I won't use any conditioner afterwards. So guys, it's just me and the mud. Spray the section with water to get it nice and wet and to make finger detangling easy. Do some light and quick finger detangling to rid the section of most tangles and knots. Now to use the mud. Apply the mud like any other shampoo to the hair section by section, working back to front. I applied a generous amount of the mud to my scalp and rubbed. Make sure to get in there really well and scrub, scrub, scrub. The remainder of the product I apply to the rest of my hair shaft. Once you've done finger detangling, grab a comb and just comb to the section starting carefully from the ends and combing up to the root. If the section starts to dry up, add some water. By now you should be able to run your fingers through your hair without snagging on any knots and tangles. So go on up and twist it back up and you're done. Move on to the next section. Repeat the process all over your head, starting off with spraying the section with water, finger detangling, applying the product and combing it out. When you're done, twist it up and move on to the next section. So why wash my hair with mud? Bentonite clay has amazing cleaning properties. It cleanses the hair and scalp by drawing out impurities that cause dandruff and itchy scalp and lifts off the dirt gently without leaving your hair dry. It smooths onto the hair easily and provides a ton of slip making it perfect for detangling. The best part about this though is that you don't need to condition or decondition afterwards because the mud wash is naturally moisturizing. My hair literally melted apart when washing it out and all of this after just one use. Seriously guys, this stuff is truly amazing.
finally done the model should apply to all my hair now i'm going to just let it sit on my hair for about 20 to 30 minutes under a plastic bag and under a scarf and i'm just going to let it penetrate into my skin to really get a deep cleansing and then i'm going to hop into the shower and rinse it all out but before that I use the bentonite clay mask as an exfoliating mask for my skin. It's really moisturizing and doesn't strip my skin of its natural oils. This is good for someone who's got oily skin, but I wouldn't advise someone who's got dry skin to use it all that often. Perhaps once a week at most. It's been about 20 minutes and the face mask is dry. It's time to hop in the shower and rinse it off. And the result? Clean scalp, clean hair which is ultra moisturized and defined the curls. I don't know how to explain it. Forcey hair doesn't really have clumping curls but my hair was very defined. The coils as small as they were were actually clinging together and just really really curly. I don't know how to explain it. I didn't have my shea butter mixed with me but I just used some grapefruit oil to fill in all that moisture. <laughs> it's also good for your face. I'm going to get a very up close shot, but I've got some 4A curls in the back and I have to tell you, they were popping all over the place. That's it for this video, thanks so much for watching, bye!